Excellent. Lines and fenders in. As a prospective skipper, it's essential that all those on board are able to work together well using effective communication. This is done through a nautical language developed over the years and whereby much of this has now disappeared into Dave Jones' locker, some of it still remains. So as a skipper, it is important that you understand what things are called so that you can direct your crew to the task in hand appropriately. Starting off looking at the sailing yacht, we have the hull, and which above the waterline we call the top sides. At the back of the boat, we have the backstay, and this helps support the rig. And at the front of the boat, we have the forestay, which does the same. The forestay on this boat also has the rolling genoa, attached to the furling drum. The front of the boat, from the waterline, is called the stem. Here we have the anchor, and the anchor is used to attach us to the bottom if we want to stop for lunch. At the front of the boat, we have the nav lights, and this particular one is a bicolour because it is a combined unit. The silver railings here is called the pulpit. Here we have a cleat, and we can use ropes here to help tie the boat up. This here is the anchor locker, and inside the anchor locker we have the windlass, and we also have the anchor chain and warp. This is the furling drum, and this is controlled by the furling line. Here we have the fore hatch and two small hatches further aft. These can be slippery when wet. The long straps on the deck are called the jack stays and we can secure to those using our personal line. The upright silver posts are called the stanchions. The downhaul is attached to the deck using a shackle and this is used to control the spinnaker pole. Here we have the guard wires and these really are our last line of defence should we fall. Here we have the mast and spreaders. At the top of the mast we have the wind instruments. And on the way back down, here you can see that the courtesy flag. The side stays on this boat are called the shrouds, and these are useful to help you pull yourself onto the boat. This is the grab rail, and this can be used to hold onto. And remember, one hand for you, one hand for the boat. This is the life raft canister, and it's important that we check the date to make sure that it's been serviced regularly. The life raft is operated by a hydrostatic release unit that will operate automatically should it be submerged. Here we have the boom and mainsail, and whilst it's not in use, it's protected by the sail cover. This is the companionway hatch, and we use this to get down below. Here we have the jammers, and these are used if we've got multiple lines going to one winch. And here we have the winch that's loaded up with a line with at least three turns around it. The boat can be steered by either a wheel or on some smaller boats we use a tiller. Both of these operate the rudder. The engine and gear selection are controlled by the throttle lever or morse control. Here we have the horseshoe buoy and some other MOB rescue equipment and it is located on the push pit. The push pit is the silver rail at the back of the boat. The crew operating area at the back of the boat is called the cockpit. In case we end up with water in the cockpit, there is a drain. It is important that the gas locker drains overboard. This boat has a dedicated gas locker. This is a binnacle compass, and it's really important that we don't put anything magnetic near it. The boat has many lockers, and at the back here, behind the steering position, is the lazarette. So now we are familiar with many of the names and parts of the boat, Let's look at location. Starting at the front and working clockwise, we have the bow. And moving aft and to the right, we have the starboard bow. Followed by starboard side and then starboard quarter. At the back, we have the stern. Working forward along the left side, we have the port quarter, then the port side, and finally the port bow. So now we should have enough nautical language to be able to get by.